Alright, let's continue with the second act of the Ancient Colors, A Gradient of Dreams and Okra. For this one, um, we just have to continue from where we stopped. Basically, we have to save this dog, just to follow the mission, and it will guide us to go uh, this side. We have to talk with um, Serin. Okay, we need to collect uh, strange parts, uh, in total four of them. How to collect them? Uh, basically, around the village you will find a lot of um, like uh, quests uh, to do, and also you can find some in the chests. So let's collect them by doing the quests. Finally guys, we got all the four parts. Basically, that girl will give you one, right? So you still need the three of them. Just to follow this guide of where it's so easy, the first part will give you one. Then a fishing game quest, really short to give you another one. And then, hey, this is hey, this isn't hey, this isn't pumpkin soap. If you got all the four parts, let's continue with the world quest, the main world quest. So back to Mamer at her house here. All right. After we finish with the dialogue. Um, we have to go to this place, just to teleport to this teleport waypoint. And finally we can access the other part of the underground uh, area, this part here basically. As you can see we have a hidden teleport waypoint as well. So just to teleport here, you couldn't access this area um, before doing this part uh, of the main quest, uh, of the world quest. That's why I need you to finish this, uh, because there are some uh, hydroculus inside it. So just to come here. And as you can see, the wall is open now. There is also a chest, but let's don't care about it. Okay, bottom side. Here. Keep a progress. Nice, let's go activate it. Font of all waters. This is the last uh, teleport waypoint, so now we unlocked all 39 teleport waypoints of uh, Sumeru. Uh, okay, let's, ki let's go fight and help uh, one. After we fought, uh, the chest will spawn, but let's don't care about it. And keep progress with the world quest. We have to go downside, in the water. Okay, just a dive. And go toward the bottom side of here, near to the rock. When you get close, a small uh, dialogue will appear, but there's still one uh, trapped uh, inside um, that ball. To rescue this one, uh, we need to get the power of uh, this, so just attack with the normal attack to get the power, then hold your skill, unleash. Hold, unleash. The behind, there's another one, hold, unleash. Time to bring them to home, so just uh, follow this place. Bottom side here. We can use these fishes to restore stamina and HP. Here we find a super big conch, but uh, there's nothing inside, you cannot even go inside it. Here, interact with this thingy. It will make you fly like this. I mean, swing faster. Here we go. This is the house. Uh, actually, not yet. He's a bit more ahead. I interact with this one. And from the minimap, uh, yeah, the new zone will spawn yet uh, soon. Once you get inside the hill. And yeah, you can see, this is the last section of the map underground. That zone with the barrier we cannot get inside yet, so just don't care about it. We can come back in future in the next, in the, another world quest. But for now, just go here, above, to upstairs. And uh, yeah, we connected the bottom side to the upstairs. This is the lake we saw before uh, in the village. As you can see. So now you just have to come back to the teleport waypoint uh, here and use this thingy to 
go to a lonely place. Let's go. Okay. We'll find a lot of uh, the Rift Hounds, so let's defeat them. Okay. We need to destroy that thing in the center. One. And it's destroyed. This time we saved the Virda. Okay, time to fight. Let's go. After you killed, we can keep progress. Come on, come on. Here we go. Act 2 done. Blue Longing and Heart and Moon. This is the... No, Blue Longing of Heart and Moon. Limer, Dreamer and the Robotic Dog. This is the Act 3 last part, guys. That's it. Hope uh, this video helped you to complete it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>